Today let's take a look at our spin tool. Now, if you're familiar with other 3D programs, you'll find this tool is often referred to as a lathe tool. In Blender, its hotkey is Alt-R. I started out remembering that by thinking of it as being involved in an alternate form of rotation, which is basically what it is. Now, there's two important things to note when we're using the spin tool. First, our point of view will determine around which axis the extrusion will spin. It's going to spin perpendicular to whatever our view is. Second, the position of our 3D cursor will be the center of our rotation, no matter where we place it. Alright, to understand that, let's take a look at this in practice. I'll spin towards my front view a little bit and create a plane. I'll tab into edit mode and then go ahead and box select and delete the rear vertices. Right now my cursor is at zero world space and that's right where I want it. I want the right vertex to be at world zero also. Now since my default plane took up two blender units I can select it my whole line and I can hit N and pull up my right toolbar then I can set my line from current position to negative one in the X zero in the Y and of course make sure that it remains at zero in the Z now my line is right where I want it with the right vertex at zero world space I'll tab into front position number one and orthographic five all right now I'm going to select the left vertice and just like we learned in our extruding videos I'm going to hit E and repeatedly extrude out this line and start to make the sh a shape. I'm going to make something like a goblet. So this time as I go when I get to that upper lip I'm also going to make sure that I'm modeling the inside edge of the goblet as well. Now I would probably put in quite a few more verts and make sure that my lines were a lot smoother but for the sake of this and not being here all day this will do fine. I'm also going to be sure as I get down to the end that my put my last vert on the zero space line in Z. I don't want to bring it down and close up the shape and we'll see why in a second but I do want it to be on that same world space of zero in X and Y and just higher in Z from my original. Now, remember, my cursor is also at world zero, so that's perfect. But, right now, we're in a front view. So if we spin, we're going to get some very strange results. You can uh, hit Alt-R and give that a try if you want. It's just going to look like a mess that you can't understand. If you do that, just hit Control-Z and get back to the point that we're at. Okay, before we go, I'm going to box select again and make sure that all of my verts are selected. Our spin operation is going to occur perpendicular to our view. So, since we created our glass in a side view, we're going to want to go to our top view, 7, to actually perform the operation. Let's go to that view and give it a shot. Alright, it worked. But if you're using this for the first time, the default is 90 degrees with 12 as a number of duplicates, as you can see over in our left toolbar. Let's pop that number up to 36, and let's change our degrees to 360. Bam! We have our goblet. All right. Now when we do a full spin of 360, there is something that you always need to be aware of. Basically, our last set of vertices, the ones that are currently highlighted, are sitting 
exactly in the same space as our very first set of vertices. We don't want vertices occupying the same space, so we're going to need to fix that. So we'll come down and make sure that our limit selection button is deactivated and then we'll select all of our vertices. We could just select this line of them, but it's just as easy to grab them all. Notice our vertex count up in the right corner. All right, we'll hit Control V for our vertex menu and scroll down till we see Remove Doubles. We'll click that. Now we see the number of verts removed and our lower total count. Congratulations, you have spun out your first glass. I'm sure in the future you'll do many more for many, many still lives, but this is your first one and it's awesome. All right, that pretty much covers us for the spin tool. Feel free to play around with some of the settings in this and see what you can make go right and even more importantly, see what you can make go wrong. The beauty of this is you can always just start a new scene. After that, I'll see you in the next video.